Hi, this is Charlie from Denneke. Let's talk about the SBT. So the SBT basically has got, on the top side here, uh, it's a jam sink in eighth inch jack. You use a eighth inch mono plug, tip is time code, sleeve is ground. There we have a four pin Hiroshi uh, male connector used for external power. You can use uh, anything in the range of 6 to 18 volts DC. Next to that is the on off switch. Up is on, down is off. And below that we have the time code out BNC connector that's used to feed whatever you're going into, usually a, a camera, video camera. And below that is the video out that's the BNC jack that outputs a video reference that is locked to the time code. Okay, the SBT, uh, we have the typical Deneke uh, rotary dial. Uh, this selects the different frame rates you're using. In this case, it's on position zero, which is 30 frame non-drop time code. So you use that to select what frame rate you're using. Below that, we have the two dip switches that are going to select the video output. So it's going to, it can do 1080i, 1080p, 720p, and a two times progressive, which really nobody uses at this point in time, but it's available for future reference. Uh, commonly asked question is, uh, what does a zero and the one mean? Basically, zero means off, one means on. So in this case, it's set to 1080i or PSF, which is one and the same. Uh, first one is down, zero. Second one is up, one. SBT runs on three AA batteries. Uh, simple to turn on, you just flip the on, on, on switch. You see the green LED strobing means it's generating its internal code and has not been synchronized to any kind of external code. Uh, feeding it external code through the eighth inch jack, you see that it'll start flashing once per second. That means it's taken the jam and is now synchronized to our external master clock. The most commonly asked questions are, what kind of battery life do I get out of an SBT or an SB3? Uh, they're both about the same, actually. They run well over 48 hours uh, continuous. So, you know, on a typical eight to 12 hour day, you're gonna get quite, quite some life out of them. Another common question is, which one should I purchase between the SBT or the SB3? It depends on what kind of work you're doing. If you find yourself not really using a Genlock signal into a camera, uh, an SB3 will work fine. The higher end cameras, uh, multi camera shoots, it's really more critical to use a Gen Lock, so an SBT would be the way to go. So, if you have any questions regarding this or any other Deneke product, please feel free to contact us at deneke.com or any of our dealers. <music>